when the Flare network airdropped Polymeron tokens to its users at the beginning of 2023, this caused a lot of buzz in the crypto community. What makes this protocol special? In this video, we will discuss Flare, the protocol which aims to make blockchain technologies mainstream. We will look at how it works as well as its pros and cons. My name is Zana and I will be your host today. Let's get started! Flare is a crypto project, the main goal of which is to connect everything. Its main appeal for the developers is that it permits them to access data with high integrity data from other chains and the internet. This is a layer 1 blockchain with proof-of-stake consensus mechanism that is compatible with Ethereum virtual machine, meaning that any applications written in Solidity to run on any other EVM chain can also be used in Flare. The network's use cases include DeFi, NFTs, Metaverse, and gaming. There are two interoperable data acquisition protocols in the Flare network. Flare Time Series Oracle. It delivers off-chain real-time data which is constantly updated, for example, coins prices. It provides digital asset price pairs and updates every three minutes. State Connector. It helps with the interoperability between different blockchains by collecting and verifying data of various networks without the involvement of any intermediaries. Together, the two products allow decentralized applications that are built on the Flare network to quickly access information directly on chain, which means new use cases and monetization models. Another interesting feature is called App Assets. It allows bringing tokens from other chains to the Flare network using collateral. This way, non-contract tokens can be used in smart contracts on Flare. The main goal of F Assets is to once again ease the process of dealing with multiple protocols and give the opportunity to use various tokens in dApps. Finally, there is also a Canary platform called Stonewall Network with its native SGB token. It permits the Flare team to test features before introducing them to the mainnet. SGB holders also participate in governance. The main use of the system's native token is paying transaction fees and rewards to those who maintain collateral pools. FLR can be wrapped, which gives it more flexibility for DeFi purposes, and also FLR or SGB tokens can be utilized by the Flare Time Series Oracle data providers to support the delivery of decentralized data to the network. Where did Flare come from? Flare was co-founded by Hugo Phelan, who is the CEO now, Sean Rowan, the CTO, and Dr. Neri Usher, the chief scientist. In the early stages of development, the project got investments from a large crypto company, Ripple. In 2021, Flare got about $11.3 million in funding from the digital currency group, Kinetic Capital, Doquan, etc. The network was supposed to launch in 2020. Back then, the idea behind the project was simpler it would be a chain for some layer 1 tokens and smart contracts. The team worked on Flare for two more years and was launched in July 2022 on a private observation mode after a thorough audit in May of the same year. In the past, the platform's token was called Spark. It was renamed to FLR in October 2022. On the 9th of January 2023, the Flare team carried out a large airdrop 4 billion FLR was sent to the users. In total, the project aims to allocate 28.5 billion FLR tokens to the public in regular events. For example, on the 17th of March 2023, about 670 million FLR were claimed by wrapped FLR holders. The platform's achievements include some interesting partnerships. For example, in April 2022, Flare announced that it's building a bridge together with Algorand. What is more, in November 2022, the network launched its API toolkit on Google Cloud Marketplace. This means that the developers got an opportunity to leverage its private APIs with no need to run their own nodes. In May 2023, the company signed a partnership agreement with Rationero, an accounting service that works with blockchain and web-free companies. What are the advantages of Flare? Interoperability The isolation of various protocols is one of the most pressing issues in the crypto world. Flare, which works with various blockchains, has great potential for developers. Scalability Flare's features allow for complicated dApp ecosystems. Simplicity The network provides an environment for building dApps on Solidity without the worry of code incompatibility. Incentives for users The regular FLR airdrops make holding the token more beneficial. What are Flare's disadvantages? Novelty 
The protocol is still very new, so it's hard for it to compete with bigger networks. According to Define Llama, Flare's total value locked was about $219,000 as of the beginning of June. For comparison, Solana, which is still going through a rough patch, has over $1 billion in TBL and Ethereum's figures have crossed the $60 billion mark. Flare Network seems to be an innovative project which aims to solve some of the biggest problems in the crypto sphere. That is why it is seen with much enthusiasm by the community. We still have to wait to see whether it lives up to the high expectations, but even now, Flare has great potential to become a strong market player. Please note that this video was made for informational purposes only. We highly recommend you to do your own research when it comes to any crypto purchases and investments. Thank you so much for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about new videos from SimpleSwap. See you soon!